What's going on guys? Corey Smith here, CoreFX, bringing you guys another weekly technical talk video. Uh, I come out with these videos every weekend going over a breakdown of the foreign currency markets and what pairs I'm watching. We go over all of the index pairs for each individual currency, as well as all the US dollar major crosses, any that pair that has a cross with the dollar of the majors. And then I go over my watch list for the week, what I've developed, what I'm watching. Trend trader here with CoreFX, so we are looking for trades in the direction of the trend. We want to find strong trends, look for nice opportunities for breakouts and pullbacks. If you're guys first time here, I appreciate it. Subscribe to the page, you'll get notifications whenever new videos come out. Check out all the other content on the page as well. Um, we do these videos every week. I do them privately with my students. We go over them as a webinar, but then I record the technical analysis breakdown version of it and throw it up here on the charts on the uh, channel here for you guys to check out the charts and what's going on. So it's going to be all the index pairs. We do a little bit of uh, S&P 500 stock market index. Um, then we go over all the currency pairs, all the U.S. majors, and then the watch list for the week. So I appreciate it, guys. New, new uh, visitors. I really appreciate you guys giving it a shot. Subscribe to the page, like the video, throw any comments if you like, don't like anything, if you want anything to be covered that's not. Um, definitely always open to adapting and creating new content. And for my returning viewers, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you're seeing some value in these videos. And uh, same goes to you all. Leave a comment. Tell me how it is, what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see, and I'll throw it in. But all right, guys, thank you. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the charts here now. Um, I'll talk to you guys in there. All right, guys, so hopping into the charts here. Uh, again, this week, we're going to start with the index pairs, going over what's going on in each of the individual currencies index. As you know, in Forex, all the currency pairs that we watch are two-way transactions. It shows one currency pair, how it's trading versus another. These indexes kind of dive more so into the actual individual pairs. Um, they're weighted against the U.S. dollar mainly, so it is still similar to the dollar crosses of these pairs, but... Sometimes there's a little different story going on in these, and these, these pairs are definitely important to be paying attention to. So uh, starting with the dollars here, um, I want to show you guys on the daily, we have been very bullish the dollar, as you guys all know, since this counter trend was broken, um, and we started this new bullish trend after all of basically 2017 and into 2018. We were in this downtrend, seeing a weak dollar. Uh, we have seen that reverse. We're now trading above the 20, the 50, and the 200. The 20 and the 50 are both sloping upwards with nice spacing, and the 20 is about to cross the 50 here. This is called the golden cross. When you have the 20 moving average cross above the, uh, I mean the 50 moving average cross above the 200 moving average, this is a very technical sign for, uh, you know, medium to long term trend direction that it is looking to the upside. So the daily looks good, all bullish news. You know, we hit resistance here and did bounce the strong bearish engulfing, some strong rejection off that zone. But um, if you look at the, the rest of the picture, technically speaking, this does tell us we want to be buyers. But in the short term, what is scaring me a little bit is this daily chart. As you can see, this two, I mean this weekly chart, sorry. As you can see, this 200 week moving average was hit and rejected with a little bit of a doji rejection candle, kind of shooting starish candle um, off this 95 psychological resistance. And if you look left, it's also uh, not only a supply zone from this strong push off this area, but it's also a resistance level. So we're getting a lot of signs of hesitation in this uptrend. A lot of signs that, you know, we've seen some very bullish weeks here. So a little bit of exhaustion and correction is normal. It is something that we'd see uh, pretty much across the board in markets. So um, this is something we want to be aware of. So essentially we want to remain buyers for the US dollar, but uh, wait for a little bit of a better price to get in. We did have a bullish engulfing here off this sell-off, but still seeing a lot of bearish momentum, seeing those signs on the uh, higher time frames telling us to be weary buying at this level. So maybe this week we see a little bit further of a correction on the dollar. I'd like to get in closer down to the 93.50 area if we're going long the dollar, um, but definitely something we want to keep an eye on here on this Dixie chart, uh, US dollar index. And want to you know be watching for uh, opportunities on the dollar crosses and what the index is telling us. Now, taking it over to the euro, um, again, this is pretty much going to be an inversely related to the dollar pair. Um, the euros, the euro is is the, the main traded pair with the dollar. The euro dollar makes up like 60% of the Forex transactions. So uh, this pair is going to be very inverse to the dollar. It's going to basically look the exact opposite of the dollar because of that um, popularity and, and liquidity of the euro dollar. But uh, 
Again, this one wasn't an uptrend all 2017 into 2018. Broke out of this, was a bull pennant on this pattern, on this pair, and has sold off pretty strong since. We're about to get the death cross, the exact opposite of the golden cross that we see on the dollar pair. That's the 50 crossing below the 200. But we are seeing a nice downtrend. This strong impulse leg lower is showing us uh, you know, some really nice uh, bearish technical charts. And if you look at here, this 112 support area, that price came down to we did get a strong break below and it quickly reversed back up this could be a fakie this could be an outside reversal you know false breakout and then pulls back um, which in technical analysis at times that could show a strong reversal now a strong bullish press but um, I mean fundamentally the euro is weak very weak and technically you can see this uptrend was broken with this move here we're below the 20 and the 50 on the daily as well Bounced off the 200 here. That's where we got this false break below. I do think, again, as with the dollar, the opposite direction here. I think we could see a little bit of a rally before we then continue the weakness in the euro. So we'll see if this week we get that rally. Maybe come back up to 113, 113.50 range, and then move lower and uh, you know set that new lower low after setting a lower high like we are now. Yen, this is an interesting pair. Um, as you guys know, we were in this long yearly range. We broke out of it, quickly reversed back into it have now pulled back and basically this strong level here that has been resistance was broken was support was broken now being retested as resistance again we've got uh, multiple rejections to this zone also hitting the 50 SMA and if we throw one more guy out here we can see Mr. Fibonacci coming to play as well so with this strong move lower We've now rallied back up to the 382 level, lines up perfectly with this resistance now on the 50 SMA. I say the yen gets weaker this week. I'll go over the US stock market uh, S&P 500 index in a minute, minute here that also correlates with this with the risk on risk off theme. But um, I do see this pair continuing lower now. We've been setting lower lows and lower highs. We did kind of violate this prior structure here, but we are immediately rejecting off this. And I think this pair is ready to move lower again. As you can see, it's already, um, gapped all the way down and I just I think this pair is just going to continue to the downside and make its way down to 84 even um, in the coming months I see some more bullishness in the US stock markets helping push that as well pound um, as you guys know we've been we reversed this uptrend as well with this red daily trend line we reversed it moving averages crossed over we were basing and uh, a couple weeks ago on the 200 SMA we were waiting for that break lower we got that break lower it's now bounced off a of weekly support I think there is more to this bounce I think we'll see some more strength come to the pound temporarily uh, I think we'll rally back up to around 131 but then I think we're gonna set a lower high and continue the downtrend on this pair as well CAD uh, sloppy chart still just chopping around had some strong bullish and bearishness this week just really just chopping around flat on the week not much going on here, not much to tell. Uh, until this range is broken to the downside or the upside, I don't really care to analyze this pair because there's not anything technically um, telling us we should be looking for this pair. Frank, different story. Um, we've been in this beautiful downtrend, and as you guys know here, we had a parabolic move over these few weeks. Price just ripped lower. Bounced off this weekly support level. If you look left, you can see 9350 ish Rallied up. And now we have set a lower high. We're hitting 95.50. We did sell off it a little. Um, this moving average is starting to curl upwards, but the 50 still intact. We had that death cross. The 200, the 20s below the 50, below the 200. Great moving average positioning for a downtrend. Everything's telling us this pair looks ready to go lower. So I'm going to be looking for um, Swiss franc to be moving lower again this week as well. Corresponds greatly with the yen weakness. Uh, if we see that risk on moving the markets, usually money leaves things like the Swiss franc and the yen. So. Um, that is what I'll be looking for these pairs to do. Again, these can change very quickly at any moment, this analysis. So uh, we have to always be ready to not care about being right or wrong, but care about making money and being on the right side. So this is our plan, but this is not necessarily what we will stick to. Um, Aussie, as you guys can see, this broke a strong trend line, has been in a very nice trend though. If you throw a little uh, channel on here, you can see we have been moving lower in a nice downward trend, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. We're now still in this lower high. We're on the 50 SMA about on this daily upward tre upside trend line to the downside. Um, and you can see here, we've just been basing 
at this lower high. So I think that we certainly are ready soon to make a move lower. Um, there's our counter trend line that we could use as confirmation of the break. But I do think that this pair is going to continue to the downside. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, but um, this 75.50 area to 76 has been rejecting price each time it comes up to it. So I think we're ready to continue this and possibly come down and set a lower low, or at least come retest the prior structure lower low at 74.50. And then real quick, the New Zealand dollar. Um, as I've been going over with you guys, this has been in a strong range. This is weekly. Um, this chart's the weekly chart. So you can see really since middle of 2016, We've been stuck in this range, selling off every time we hit resistance, buying and gaining value every time we hit support. We're now on support. We did see this bullish engulfing, uh, but it's not too convincing of a candle. You can see it pulled off the highs of the week, and it's got this upper wick a little bit. Um, this is showing that you know this could bounce and stay in the range, but I, I'm hoping for and kind of looking more towards price to break the bottom of that range and get some real strong moves on the daily you can see this strong downward trend rallied up now it's hitting this um 70 psychological resistance if you look left you can see price has struggled at this area in the past as well so now we have a little bit of a bearish engulfing um, this pair could be ready to move lower we got a nice supply zone created from this pulse down here Price is rejecting initially. So I do think this pair could move to the downside, but once again, we can't anchor to any of these beliefs. We have to be ready for the markets to show us where it's going and to react off that. All right, so real quick, S&P 500, U.S. equity markets. As you guys know, we were in this bull pennant. We broke out a couple weeks ago. We're in this range. This past week, we did see it break below the range, tapped 50 SMA, and reversed right back into it. And now we've got some bullish pressure pushing on the top of this range. Uh, I do think we'll break out of this range to the upside. Technically, this is everything about this is showing us bullishness. So um, the one thing that does concern me a little bit is that these bearish moves are still being stronger than the bullish, but that's pretty much just typical market psychology. Uh, whenever there's bearish news or um, sell-offs, it usually causes more of a panic and fear is a lot stronger than greed when you look at markets like this. So people panic and sell. That's why when you see sell-offs, they're very strong, these big red candles, the gaps and big red candles. And then you see the rallies are a lot less consistent. There are a lot, you know, there's a lot less gas to them. But um, that being said, this is still technical. Uh, it's still a very strong uptrend technically. Fundamentally, the US economy still looks great. Earnings reports are still doing good. Um, really just had one of the best job reports we've had. And, uh, unemployment's down to 3.8%, tons of jobs being created. So there's really no sign of downturn fundamentally, and now technically there's not either. So I don't see anything stopping this chart from moving higher. This chart moves higher. Typically, yen, Swiss franc move lower. Um, and then you can see the growth currencies, New Zealand dollar, Aussie dollar, CAD moving higher. But that's a correlation that changes pretty drastically over time, um, depending on what's going on in each individual economy. So the strongest correlation between this is the risk on risk off theme, which directly correlates to the yen, especially, and then the Swiss franc second. Um, so that covers the indexes. Switching it over to the dollar pairs, uh, the euro dollar. On the daily chart, we are seeing this strong downtrend. As you can see, looking left, this is a weekly zone. We've now hit strong bullish engulfing bounce off, rallied up. Last week, I was calling for a bounce to then continue the downside. We have now hit this resistance at around 117.50. A um, little bit of a bearish engulfing candle here off this. Um, we are respecting the trend line now. It's a lot clearer of a trend line if you drop it down a time frame. Um, you can see that trend line better, but it is hitting the trend line. Uh, a couple things that worry me here. A little bit of an inverse head and shoulders could be forming here. We do see a very strong move. So this is a, a minor uh, rally, which very easily could continue the trend and move lower. But we could also see stronger correction. You know, moving averages are very far from price still. That normal mean reversion that we see in the markets could occur um, to give us a little bit of a you know, better entry point to go short if we get a little higher of a rally here. So I am a little bit mixed on my thoughts in this pair. And you can see that more so when I switch it to the weekly. As you can see, we had a very strong uh, hammer rejection candle on the weekly off of a very nice weekly level. Um, this... this uh, Rejection wick to the downsides showed that all last week sellers tried to push price lower, came to almost the 200 SMA, um, around the 115 psychological support level, and buyers came back in the markets and was able to push price all the way back up to close above this zone. So um, we are seeing some mixed signals here. 
we do want to follow the direction of the trend, and that tells us we want to be short, but we got to be watching for things on the higher time frames and um, other things to give us ideas of whether price is going to continue that trend or not. And I do want to wait for a better idea that the trend is continuing before I have a clear direction that I want to be short this pair. Pound dollar, uh, kind of a similar story. We've in invalidated and broke out of this strong uptrend that we are in here all through 2017. Um, very strong bearish sell-off. 20 is below the 50, 20 is below the 200, 50 and the 20 are both sloping downward. 200 is kind of flattening out now. Um, so technically a lot of trend bearishness is, is being apparent here. Um, we did have a little bit of a hesitant downward move the past couple weeks. Not any clear, strong moves. It was kind of a bearish, then bullish, bearish, bullish um, movement down. It was nothing like this prior move where we saw like five bear candles in a row. Um, but still bearishness. I do think we're going to bounce off this weekly level a little here. Nothing really too strong going on on the weekly chart, but we're invalidating this trend on the lower time frames here. As you guys can see, we're starting to break higher. And uh, I do think we might get a little bit more of a rally out of this pair too before we continue that um, strong dollar. Dollar CAD. Another pair I'm not really, like, like the CAD chart, I'm not really watching this pair. We are on a weekly resistance. Um, from this day from this weekly blue trend line daily chart if you look left we are on a strong zone as well so price has rejected that with this very strong bearish engulfing here um, we did have this rejection shooting star candle close on friday off of this zone so we could see some initial bearishness but again this is a pair of, there's not enough technical um, confirmations to tell me any one way or the other i want to be in strong trending pairs as you guys know moves like this we want to be a part of you know, moves like this we want to be a part of. Moves like this we want to be a part of. Moves like in here we don't want to be a part of. Really, all of this we don't really want to be a part of. There's no clear, in here there's a little bit of clear structure, but we're just having crazy moves all over the place. We don't want to be on anything in here, right? So if this breaks out and starts trending to the upside, yeah, that's what we want to be looking to trade it. But right now, while all this crazy choppy ugliness is happening, we just... There's too many other opportunities out there to, to want to focus on that. Um, dollar yen, we did reverse this trend as well. We're on an uptrend. Bounced higher highs, higher lows, set a higher high. Sold off strong, kind of invalidated structure here. Broke this structure to set a lower low, but immediately bounced. We closed with a bullish engulfing here. Um, this is the uh, support that we've got here on the daily as well as the 50 SMA. We got three back-to-back -back rejection wicks hammer hammer and then just this bearish candles rejection wick and then we got this bullish engulfing so i am definitely more bullish the uh yen now uh 20s above the 50 50 sloping upwards 20s curling a little bit but we are still in this uptrend so um dollar yen strength is what i see happening this week especially with that weak yen that i told you guys i'm anticipating dollar swiss another one that we are in a strong 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 uptrend hit this uh, parity 1.0 level up here. I told you guys we were rounding out on the four hour time frame in the hourly, which is a uh, you know inverse cup and handles, rounding top type of reversal pattern. We did reverse off that, sold off. Typical correction, we're in an uptrend, so now we are hitting daily support again. Um, I like the strong dollar, I like the weak franc. So another pair that I will be looking for long positions on, not necessarily right off the bat, but you know, you can throw out confirmations like counter trend lines um, to wait for breaks to re-enter that trend to the upside so it's hitting this daily trend line now definitely something we want to keep an eye on and uh, look for opportunities to get in on these pullbacks in the direction of the trend Aussie dollar uh, really choppy past few weeks set a lower low we rallied up set a higher high sold off again higher high sold off again back up to the higher high um, right around the 50 SMA closing in on the daily upward trend line too so uh, definitely something we want to keep an eye on here. I would like to see it set a new lower low before I'm looking for any real clear direction on this pair. Uh, we can throw a counter trend line out here, but it's not the clearest, not the cleanest. doesn't give us the best risk to reward. So nothing really too apparent immediately that I want to see in this pair. But bearishness is definitely where I am seeing the pressure. And uh, we can expect another move to the downside here from this pair this week. And then New Zealand dollar. In a strong downtrend, we had this death cross last week. 20 below the 50, below the 200, 220, and 50, all sloping downwards. Technically speaking, setting lower lows and lower highs. This is a perfect downtrend. Um, 
we did set a lower low then a lower high and price bounced and broke structure in the lower low lower high broke a little bit of a daily resistance but this uh 70 psychological resistance level is holding it's still somewhat in this range you know these support and resistance levels aren't exact points they're more of zones and it is you could say somewhat still in this zone um this pair does look still like it's ready to continue to the downside slight bearish engulfing candle not really uh more of a tweezer top here but again, something we want to see a little more confirmation on, but this pair looks ripe to move to the downside as well. So we'll have to see how it starts the week um, because we're getting a little bit of mixed signals with this broken structure and break above the daily level, but it could roll over now. And I ideally want to see it come back to retest 68.50 and hopefully break below that and then get in on a retest to that to the downside. So definitely some potential with this pair short. Uh, just like with everything, we want to wait for the proper moment the proper setup and the proper uh, you know, confirmations to tell us it's ready to go. Now jumping into my watch list real quick, I'll go over what I'm watching for this week ahead. Basically the way we trade at core effects in the direction of the trend. So we look for strong trending pairs and then uh, try to get in them when they get into, you know, pull back and breakout scenarios where we can find technical setups in the direction of the trend. So this pair is not the cleanest downtrend, but we did break below a strong daily level. Price did reverse. Um, this is for if we're playing a strong yen, if we get a risk off, or if the yen just comes out strong this week. Um, New Zealand weakness is one, one thing I'm looking for, so we could see a downtrend uh, continuation here. You know, Nothing right now that I want to be trading. Nothing is jumping out of me right now. But if this area holds and price sells off again, that could be you know, something to show us that this trend to the downside could be continuing. Euro yen, um, another one playing yen strength. Uh, again, I told you guys I think that the yen is going to be weak this week, but we have to be ready for all scenarios. That's why we build watch lists. That's why we have a strategy. That's why we you know, analyze these pairs so that we can not be right or wrong, but we can make money. So um, downtrend in this trend channel, you can see we made a strong parabolic move lower, hit support, hit the bottom of this trend line, bounced now for about three days. So if we take it down to the lower time frames, we can be waiting to see an opportunity to short this pair with a little bit of retracements, Fibonacci levels, uh, support resistance, look for some counter trend line breaks. I know it's only in the middle of this price trend channel and it does have room to come all the way back up to here. Um, if it does come up here, I'll definitely still be looking for shorts. But as it is right now, this trend could just continue to the downside and uh, push lower. And we want to be ready to act if it does. Pound yen, another one. Um, downtrend, strong bearish move few day bull rally off of that getting us back into levels where we can start looking for um, a resume to that bearishness maybe we come back up to 147 as I said there might be a little bit of pound strength uh, maybe we come back up a little bit and then we rally reverse and continue uh, so really the, the strong yen I mean the weak yen story the dollar yen is really the only pair where we see opportunity with the weak yen the yen has been pretty strong um, so a lot of these downtrends with the yen pairs are playing strong yen so um, again we just have to be ready for all ends of the aisle all uh things to play out so that we know you know we can make money no matter what pairs are moving in what directions we just have to anticipate and be prepared pound swiss franc i like this trend reversal we're in a downtrend now moving averages have crossed we're sitting here at this 200 we are below it we broke this daily trend line pull back a little bit i'd like to see a little bit more of a pullback reject this trend line if you look left, we got some, you know, structure in here around the 132.53 to 133 range. Um, retest this trend line a little bit and then continue the downside. So again, another one with the bearish move, bull rally, get in at a better price, continue on the next leg lower. Pound New Zealand, I do really like this pair. Uh, we broke structure, moving averages just recently crossed. We are bouncing off of this 200-day moving average, a little bit of a uh, morning star pattern. We are bouncing up now. I would like to see price come up and hit this 192. It's nice structure if you look up here. It's also a little bit of a break and retest to this daily trend line. And then we can look for sells in this range to then catch the next lower low of this move. So I do think a little bit of a rally is going to occur. But then hopefully we can catch resistance here and uh, continue this trade on to the downside. Euro New Zealand, another pair I'm watching. Similar looks. I don't know if you guys know about this new... Um, flag list that TradingView has is pretty sweet. You can just click this red flag next to each pair to build your watch list and leave them lit up so you know what you're watching. Um, I, I find it highly useful. Well, side note there. Euro New Zealand, um, very similar setup. 
was in a strong uptrend for a while, broke it, moving averages crossing below the 200 SMA now, um, both sloping downwards, broke structure, set a lower low. I want to see a little bit more of a rally here. This is a nice opportunity for a breakout. You know, if you're looking for a breakout, we got a little range box here in a downtrend and price is on support level. So we could play a breakout of this zone if you're looking for a breakout, but I would ideally rather see a little bit more of a bounce. We got a lot of indecision candles here. You know, we got spinning top, doji, and then this is a shooting star candle, but it's not on resistance. It's out of context, so it really is irrelevant. Um, but we're on this support. If you look left, I can bring this support level here. Um, if you look left, this is support, was resistance, a significant level. Um, we're, we're sitting on it stalling, so I do think we see a little bit of a bounce, and then I'd like to catch this to the downside because I think that uh, the euro weakness is going to continue. New Zealand, I told you guys, looks technically like it could be um, weak. But again, if we see that risk on move, we could see some strength come to New Zealand and Aussie. And I showed you guys on the weekly with that engulfing, we could see a bounce. We have to be prepared for both ends, both directions price could go. So that is my um, opportunity setup. If we're seeing a strong New Zealand and this pair bounces and then we see a correction, I mean, a uh, move to the downside. Another weak Euro play is against the Swiss franc. Again, playing if the dollar, I mean, if the uh, Swiss franc is strong, but we're on this strong support level here. Price did bounce up. It's rejecting off of a strong resistance level. So basically we could throw multiple drawings into this zone to show you guys that this whole area is just price has respected it and reacted to it a lot in the past. You know, came down, held, strong move away, bounced off, broke out of it temporarily, strong move off, hit it, strong move off. Um, so really price has been reacting to this zone a lot. That tells us that, you know, eyes are on this level. Um, we did... Reverse this trend, strong, bearish, back-to-back -back weeks. Moving averages cross now below the 20, ripped right through that 200, ripped right through that without even really hesitating. Um, I do think we could see a little more of a bounce here as well, but I think ultimately to the downside is where I could see the euro franc heading, and we just want to be looking for opportunities where we can catch that. And then um, Aussie New Zealand is a nice long pair that I like here. If you look at this gray box, uh, very significant zone price has reacted to in the past. And again, this is a level, not a zone, not an exact point. Um, price broke this daily trend line, reverse trend. We set in higher highs, higher lows now. We have a moving average crossover. We are below the 200 SMA, but we're above the 50. Um, 20 is above the 50. Both of them are sloping upwards. We're in an uptrend. We have now sold off within this uptrend. Um, we can throw Fibonacci here and see if this is on a Fibonacci level. Looks like a pretty aggressive level if it is. Yep, 382. Um, this is a really nice, strong reversal um, point in strong trending markets. So you get deeper pullbacks, the 50, 618, 786 in, you know, longer, um, deeper pullbacks within longer established trends. Early on in trends, we usually see parabolic quick, strong moves. And that's where we see the 236, 382, and 50 Fibonacci bounces. So we are starting to see a bounce off the 382 here. Let's see if the support holds. Another one, we can drop it down to the lower time frames here. Throw a little bit of a counter trend lined out and, uh, you know, give us a little bit of confirmation as to what we want to look for for this trend to continue. But I like this break and retest. We're seeing now this tr daily trend line uh, within a nice newly set up trend. So hopefully we can catch a nice bounce off of this this week to see a strong bullish move in the Aussie New Zealand dollar. All right, guys. So that covers uh, what I'm watching this week. A little bit of a longer video this week. But now that I'm covering all the indexes, get a little bit more content in here. Um, Covered all the daily crosses, all the watch lists that I have for this week, the mainly strong trending pairs that are at key levels that I want to be watching for. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in these videos. I hope you get something out of them. I hope you find some value in seeing how I analyze the charts, what I'm seeing in the markets. Um, subscribe to the page, like the video, throw some comments out there if you want me to do anything in particular, cover anything in particular. If you do or don't like the videos, throw some feedback. Um, helps make the channel a little bit more tailored and custom to what people want to see. But I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch these videos. I hope you guys get something out of it. Uh, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you see whenever I drop new videos. A lot more content going to be coming out in the near future. But I appreciate it, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.